If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, a new package from uh, the States has arrived. Yeah, you can hear the uh, gunshots in the background. That's the uh, military practicing here. You can imagine how it is right now around Europe. Uh, all the military stepped up with the war going on. So uh, they're doing their practicing here. Anyway, uh, awesome packages arrived from the States. Many things that I purchased from the States. Uh, for some reason, I got a second copy of the Shapely Physique. This one's in immaculate condition though. Maybe even a different edition. So I'm going to compare it to my other edition and see if it's the same. But uh, again, it's available on my website now. Um, it's basically the predecessor to building the classic physique the natural way because it goes through the many exercises that Steve Reeves would have used to build his physique. Um, I've, I've compared the program that's in building the classic physique with this one. It's very, very much uh, very similar and follows as well the different phases that Steve Reeves actually used. Very, very similar um, methodologies in the Shapely Physique to what actually Steve Reeves used to develop his own physique. Highly recommend this book for those interested. Um, let's have a look at what else is in this uh, fantastic load from the U.S. Basically, um, I got this uh, How to Mold a Mighty series from George F. Jowett, which were some of his original courses. Um, and just flicking through the inside, I actually realized that it's the same um, exercises that are recommended in his later publications, which is unfortunate. I thought that the information was going to be a little bit different. Um, it's uh, Yeah, it's unfortunate, but uh, nevertheless, I might offer these on my website too. How to mold a mighty grip. Use a strongman techniques to build the strength of your fingers, your gripping power, your arms, everything, right? They're still a very, very good reads. How to mold a mighty chest. Um, I'm assuming that's with, um, oh, God knows. <laughs> I've actually read it, but um, it talks about, of course, rib cage expansion, which a lot of people don't believe in, but it actually works. Um, the different kinds of rib expansion exercises, which I actually teach in my courses and stuff uh, during my uh, online coaching. These uh, techniques have worked forever. I mean, the, the, the rib cage you can expand and I mean, just lab on some muscle. Back then, bodybuilding was, wasn't as big as physical culture was and, and people wanted a big chest. It meant vitality, it meant good health. How to mold a mighty back, how to mold mighty legs and a mighty arm. So these are really great books from George F. Jow, one of the original bodybuilders from the 1930s, from the Bronze Era. Now, these two books from Tom Platt, I've been wanting to get my hands on for a very long time. They are his legendary workouts, his true workouts that he used for developing his incredible feathered legs, which nobody had ever seen before and the incredible upper body mass, mass that he displayed in the early 80s. Um, these books are just incredible. So, yeah, you can just imagine the golden information that's within. I started a Tom Palat series a long time ago, um, but was unable to get this information until only recently. So I'll be covering some of this maybe with a new Tom Palat series and maybe even sell these as well on the website. So have a um, look out fairly soon. Other than that, there's a whole bunch of mags and other courses that I've purchased. Um, here we have many again of David Prowse's original magazine and Power. Power was, there you go, Power Fitness and Health Sorry, Power, Fitness, Health and Sport was the magazine that David Prowse, who played Darth Vader, actually um, 
was um, was the editor of, and it was his magazine from the UK. Believe it or not, David Prowse, national heavyweight champion, uh, he uh, heavyweight weightlifting champion of the UK for several years, who played Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy, also had his own magazine called Power. So I've been looking at this um, very rare collection of UK magazines. I actually purchased, as you may have seen in one of my recent videos, most of David Prowse's collection of magazines, uh, or at least many of them. And yeah, excited to um, go through these as well with you soon. Some amazing covers here. You can obviously see Vince Gironda, Jim Hayslop, uh, the very late and great Dave Draper, plus other people. Here we go. Here's another great book. This one's actually written by Brooks Kubik, History Strongest Men and How They Trained. And of course, we're talking here about Doug Hepburn and his incredible routines. So um, actually, it's um, one of the books that I've been wanting to get my hands on because I'm very interested in learning the Doug Hepburn methods. I'm trying to get into more advanced training, training like... Uh, not just the Rich Park, but more towards the training of Paul and Anderson, Doug Hepburn and Marvin Eder. That's the kind of training I'm interested in because I'm trying to develop my strength and um, maximum genetic potential. When you get to a certain point in strength, you have to start lowering the reps and increasing the sets and go quite heavy. And the programs of Doug Hepburn and the like are very, very result producing. So I'm very interested in reading more and more about the great man. Speaking of which, I uh, also purchased Bradley J. Steiner's uh, The Squad. Bradley J. Steiner was a wonderful powerlifting coach from the 70s and wrote some amazing, amazing books. So this is another great book that I've purchased. Here's another wonderful cover of Power, uh, Fitness and Health. Followed by another one, um, of course, featuring the great Steve Reeves. Look at that cover, it's just amazing. Uh, again, this is David Prowse's Darth Vader's collection. And I also purchased many of uh, the Bodybuilder magazine, uh, the Chicago Bodybuilding magazine, which featured many uh, of Steve Reeves' original articles after he won the Mr. America, which I have been featuring recently on the channel. And I find the information here quite genuine and um, quite rare. So you'll be seeing more of the um, articles that I'll bring on the channel. Some are rather sensational, like Steve Reeves' five to six thousand, um, five thousand, five to six thousand calorie diet, which I featured. And got a lot of uh, <laughs> comments, I'll say. Very polar. Some people did believe it, some didn't. And for those that didn't, all I've got to say is uh, it was written back in 1947 and you were not. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, I do trust the information from back then. There was no Photoshop and there was no reason to exaggerate. Plus, anyway. I'm not going to get into that. Steve Davis's Bodybuilding for Women. Now, Steve Davis, uh, I've got most of his collection of books, and I find that his um, transformation, his diets, his exercises are very, very good. And I did, was not aware that he wrote a book for women. And I know that some women are looking at now uh, obtaining a, also a classic physique. So I think these are rather good books and yeah, I might talk about this on my channel eventually too um, and a very rare Alan Steffen Mr. America booklet um, yeah pretty cool stuff very very cool stuff it's um, basically how he <coughs> developed his physique it's a rare course <coughs> I know there's a lot of Alan Steffen fans out there so I'll probably be um, uploading this and bringing it onto my website too for those people that are fans of Alan Steffen and want to know more about his bodybuilding courses. So there you go. A bunch of courses and magazines um, from the United States and from the UK. 
some real good booklets here. Um, both powerlifting, bodybuilding, really exciting stuff. You know, real nice collection here of, of good information. And yeah, I mean, both from the silver and gold in era, as you can see, even from the bronze era. Really awesome stuff. So really happy with this stash of books and magazines from the US. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you've got some golden memorabilia like this, information that I can present on the channel, please send it over. Don't chuck it away. To me, this is gold. All this gold, baby. So uh, let me have it. <laughs> All right, this is the Golden Era book. I'm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, are Vince's best work and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each. So it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooken.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. Your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end of death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin.
the right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now, when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. That does no, no way. I, that stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was going to explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me.